Hello and welcome to an InView video. I'm not sure whether to call this a training video or a feature video. It's going to be a little bit of both, but let's just kind of jump into it. You'll notice it says InView Superpower Tools. Well, we've got some incredible tools inside of InView that really save you time and um, just allow you to get things done quicker with less errors. So what we're going to do is we're going to import a uh, just a regular die line that somebody sent me, but it's not resizable. We can show a few CAD cleanup tools that we have that are pretty cool. We've got built-in artificial intelligence where we can go and take that die line and try to find something similar in the library where I don't have to go and redesign it, but we'll go ahead and get a resizable die line, which will save us a ton of time. We'll jump into some compound synergy components, which is really cool. We can auto-generate production phases and when we can output some stuff. So let's just uh, kind of jump in. So I'll click on here and get out of there. Now we're inside of um, InView. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab something here. I got this just PDF and I'm going to drag it in. Okay. And so you'll see, we've just opened a PDF. And if I click over here and I go to my parameters, you'll see I've got no parameters. It's not resizable. And right now everything's just on, you know, let's go look at styles. They're not even sure which styles are used at the moment. Not really worried about it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this whole design just to save time. And I'm going to put everything to cutting first. So now you'll see everything's cutting. I got these little bars cutting, creasing, perforation, that kind of stuff. Now I've got different lasso tools. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to lasso this, hold down my control key, lasso all these guys, lasso these items here. And let's grab some of this stuff here. And I'm going to crease all that. So now you'll see, you know, look at this. This isn't one continuous line that we just found. So let's grab some more of that and we'll crease it. And we'll grab the rest of this over here. Same thing. And we'll crease it. So now we've kind of basically created all our crease and cut lines that we want. Let's go take a look at our quick cleanup tool. So we turn this on. It'll show us if things aren't filled or lines aren't connected. We've got all kinds of stuff. Um, that we can turn on and off. So like if we get here, for example, and say, okay, great. These lines are unconnected, but we kind of want them unconnected. Okay. Cause that's all right. But the other thing we might have is some, you know, collinear lines, just like these here. Some of this other stuff maybe could just use a little bit of cleanup, but some of it, we're not going to worry about too much right now. So I'm going to turn this tool off. And so the next thing I'm going to jump into is I'm going to turn on control points. So let's go and we're going to show our where's control points up here. And we have a full set of CAD tools. So let's just come in here real quick and let's delete out. Oops, not all that. We'll grab these guys right here and let's delete them. And let's use our extend tool and we'll extend that. So we got one single line there. Same thing. We'll zoom in here and let's delete these out. Also, oops, I'm on that same tool. Let me go back to the arrow. Let's delete these out. All right. And then let's go ahead and extend. All right. And, uh, you know, that's kind of good enough for right now. I'm going to turn the control points back off and let's create a 3d out of this. So we'll fold this up and you'll see what it does is it tries to fold everything to 90 degrees. Let's take a look at the transparent view and you'll notice that the crash lock flaps there have also been folded up. We could fix those, that kind of stuff. But really what we want to do is we want this to be a resizable design. And I don't really want to take the time of coming through res resizing everything because you notice I still have no parameters here. So I'm going to use one of our superpower tools. It's called Fine Matching Standards. So you'll see artificial intelligence is running through the library real quick and it's coming through and it's giving us a couple of different examples. You know, here's one with some different flaps. Here's ones with, you know, so we can kind of come through and say, hey, what design is closest to what we want to use? I'm going to use this one right here, say next and finish. And so you'll see, I actually get the 3D of that, but I also now get a resizable design. So I can come in here and start resizing it. Let's go back and look at our original design and take some dimensions off of it real quick. So we'll go dimensions and let's grab like, okay, this right here and we'll say oops i've got the single line let's grab this and say all right we want to know that one and this one so it looks like it's a cube so we know three and five eighths and four and a half we'll come in here and say this is three and uh oops five 
divided by 8. And then we know that one's just the same as A at the moment, so we'll just make it A. And let's make this 4.5. All right. So we zoom out. And now when we come back to our cube and we refresh, you can see there is our design. Let's go ahead and play through it real quick. Uh, zoom out here. You can kind of see how this is going to come together. So we'll play through. There we go. You can see how it's folding up, how the crash lock is coming together. And the rest will kind of come in place. So pretty slick. What's really cool now, though, is we have a resizable design. So anything that we change in here, we can adjust. If I want to make this a, you know, minus 0.5, I can do that. I can put in whatever parameters I want, and uh, it's going to adjust for me. So saves you a bunch of time. And we also know that everything is going to fit exactly like it should. We're not positive about this original design if everything was perfect, but we do know in this design because it came out of the library, it is. All right, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and, you know, that kind of just shows you how quick you can get there. By the way, if we save this, so if we go save in view file and let's just call this like crash lock one or something like that. Now you'll notice I can output this to packs if I wanted. I can save this as an EVD file, an in view file. I could open up an illustrator, start putting my graphics on it, or I could come out here and I could export this in a ton of different file formats, everything from, CF2 to DDS, uh, layered AutoCAD, PDFs, I mean, everything under the sun, anything that's a non-proprietary file we could output. Oh, and by the way, if you remember, this original one had the glue flap on this side. If you want to match that, we can right click here and we can flip design. And now it's flipped just like that. All right. Let's jump into the library for a second and let's go get some cool design out of the library. So we're going to folding carton. And let's run down here and let's just get one of these uh, kind of basic um, non-bottom designs. So this is kind of a hang, hanging tag box. We'll open it up and we'll go look at the design. And so you'll notice here that we brought in this and we could have found one with uh, the bottom on it already, but kind of wanted to show you, like I said, once again, some of the cool superpowers are in here. So let's go to our Synergy components. And let's go to a compound component and let's go get a regular tuck lock. And so you'll see that I want to put a tuck lock on the bottom that's similar um, to this one here. Okay, so we can drag this out and you'll notice that uh, here's my design and I can mirror this. So let's flip this to the other side and now let's start putting this one together. So we're going to just, oops, I don't want to mirror it in the other direction too. So let's do that again. We'll grab this guy out here. We'll drag it out and um, let's mirror it that way and mirror it this way. There we go. Okay. And so now we're going to drop this into place real quick, which is kind of cool. And okay. We'll just take the parameters out there as they are, zoom out and we'll go check our 3d real quick. And so now we've got a new design and we could just go ahead and fix the bottom of that real quick if we wanted. So all we have to do is insert a step below and, you know, a step below and on this step right here, let's say we want to grab this flap, that flap and this flap, and we can fold that to 90. And then on this last step, we can grab that and fold it to 90. Okay. And so we've just cleaned up the design real quick and you can kind of see how everything goes together. And so as you look through the different stages, we can fold it up and show the animation. All right. But what we can do too, same thing, now that we've designed this, maybe there's something in the library that's similar to this. So we could go up and say, find matching standards, go through the library real quick, and we've got this in view design that's pretty darn close to that design. And so we could come in here and grab that design, finish and pull it into the library. And so now we wouldn't even have to do any of that cleanup because it's all done for us and we could come in and start resizing and go from there. So that's pretty slick. Let's, um, so let's take that same design now that we have here. Okay. And let's say that you want to put a crash lock on it now. So I'm going to grab the whole bottom and I'm going to delete it off and I'm going to go to my synergy components again, and I'm going to go grab a compound component and let's get a crash lock and we'll get one. That's a folding carton crash lock. We'll drag it out like we did before, and now it's in the right direction. So we'll snap it on, snap it on, and voila. 
Okay, we use our parameters, everything's adjusted in there. I did notice that that little spot's kind of hanging up a little bit more than we want. So let's go, that is a, what is it, CLPSE. Let's set that to zero. All right, and now, same thing. We can go back and look at our 3D, let's refresh it. But you'll notice it's not all closed up right. And in our production state, we're really gonna wanna create the right production for a crash lock bottom. So I'm gonna delete off this phase. All right, and I'm gonna go create one. So we have a really cool tool here where we can go create our own um, crash lock production phase. And so let's just go ahead and grab this and say, okay, let's create it. So you'll notice that I've got these X lengths here. And so on my, mo my model, I'm gonna start clicking on them and we'll basically say, okay, this is where we need to be folding. We'll go next. And then it's the same thing on the Y's here. We'll start and say, all right, here's our first one, second one, third, and uh, where do we wanna go here? I'll flap and there, all right, so next, finish. So now what's really cool is we just generated that production phase. So if we kind of play through this real quick, you'll see that the bottoms will come in, everything will start to kind of fold up like it's supposed to. And there you go. So, and then we just have to basically take care of the bottom there. It wasn't all finished, but we can definitely finish that up pretty easily. We go back into our transparent and just come down to our different steps here. And so on this first step where this all came together, we'd actually want that to happen in one phase. And so what we could do is let's take the pieces from here, let's move them up to here, get rid of that, and we'll delete step two. Uh, let's delete that step. All right, so when you look there, get to the step. And I guess the same thing down here is happening. So let's uh, take those items. We'll move this one up to that step. Same thing down here. We'll move that up to that step. And then the last thing we might want to do is grab that panel here and let's fold it to 90. And then we can come in and uh, probably easier to get that from the flat production view. So let's go up here to the very first one and let's make sure that on this step that's folded back to zero all right so now you'll see real quickly we were able to clean that up we'll zoom out and let's just play through this so you can see the box coming together tabs coming up and um, now our bottom comes together like it's supposed to tops coming together like it's supposed to so pretty slick all right so we'll zoom out on that but just a couple of kind of quick notes, you know, that we went through. Um, real easy to change box designs. You know, if something's in the library, you can adjust it. You can put your own bottoms and tops on and you can make everything resizable. So if somebody sends you a die line and you want that die line to be resizable, you can see uh, using AI and some of the superpowers we have, um, you can basically create any design you want, but keep it resizable. So hope you found some use out of this video. Um, you know, if you got any questions, please contact us. We'd love to set up a demo, get you started with the software and um, yeah, come grow with us. Thank you.